So people often ask, you know, um, why, you know, if natural cures don't work, then why do they have such a strong following? And um, this is one such story, and either way, this is going to end in tragedy. But you know, you'll you'll see, we'll see what happens. But I'm keeping a close eye on it. And I don't know whether you've heard or not. I can't remember the the family's name. I believe it's the Heisenberg family, and they're a they're an Amish family in uh, that live in America. And basically, one of their daughters came down with uh, leukemia, and the only way to cure leukemia is with a, a course of chemotherapy. Now, this chemo, the chemo, the leukemia she had. Uh, was actually quite a rare form and basically they took her in because she was getting really sick they were quite worried about it, understandably now she had the first um, set of treatment because you have uh, chemotherapy in a, in a sort of stage so now after the first one they became even more worried because in their eyes they'd taken her to get better which they were, which the doctors were helping her to get better, but because of obviously the dark side effects of chemotherapy, they saw her get worse. And immediately they pulled her out and decided that she's not going to have any. <coughs> and this immediately caused, you know, the doctors and it caused even to get the state involved. But this is what happened next, and this is what even the doctors and the family of the girl need to be understanding or anyone needs to understand once you've had that first treatment it doesn't just cure you you need to at least be having it you'd have I think the standard is about five over a set period but after you've had that initial dose it doesn't mean you're immediately cured in fact there's a good chance that for example what this is what happened is happening to the girl is that she's only had one dose so far and the doctors there have said that there is a 90% chance so far that her leukemia is going to come back so there's a 10% chance and as a parent are you willing to take that chance because what happened next was they started seeking outside help and what did they find uh, someone who said oh we can get rid of it naturally we'll do all the natural treatments so as of yet we don't know what's going to happen it'll be a while before um, we see anything happen but ultimately what I guarantee will happen because two things will happen she'll die and quite frankly there's a 90% chance that her cancer or the leukemia is going to come back and it'll come back even worse and she'll die and of course, the natural uh, therapist guy that they're seeing isn't going to get blamed. No, they'll, I guarantee 100% they will blame it on the chemotherapy. They'll say, oh, that's what killed her. The second one is that she'll be incredibly lucky and she'll live. And of course, this is where it comes in because you get this all the time. You get these survivors that have took a risk, took a huge gamble on their lives. They've had treatment, and they have they've you know, refused to follow it up. You know, uh, the guy, uh, for example, Chris B. Cancer. Um, he after he's had his surgery, he refused. Uh, I think it was a, a, a radiation, and there was a 35% chance um, that he might survive because there was just the therapy itself I believe would have taken his chances up to about 60 but from what I've read it brought his chances down to I think of about 30 odd percent and of course all the you know accolades and whatever won't go 
to the you know the doctors or, or you know thank god we had the chemotherapy in time or you know no it'll go straight to these natural morons and of course it'll be used and touted as a thing look look at our natural cures work of course they've got no proof about how what was going on in the girl's body you know um how it worked even if even if it did work at all they've got no say in how it worked you know and that's that's how it happens that's how it gets popular because people take risks and some people get incredibly lucky and other people don't and what's worse is that people will read that story and go oh we'll do this with our child or I'll do this myself then and they take a risk and unfortunately they're not the one that on they're not as lucky and they die and one of the vast reasons why you don't hear a lot of you know negativity from from people is the dead you know dead men tell no tales and that's the the brutal fact that most of these natural um natural people natural therapies don't want to be talked about and it needs to be talked about and there's no one else doing it so there you go